Hi there, good morning. We've got Brie here modelling what we're going to be making today. We have this really cute strawberry hat. Got a nice summery feel there. And I know a friend of mine was doing some tutorials on her sewing side for strawberries and it set me off wanting to make strawberries. So this is where this is coming from. There's going to be different size strawberry hats for my dolls. I'm probably going to do it in every size that I can think of because I just think they're so cute. I'm wanting to do some strawberry earrings. It's just strawberry, strawberry, strawberry at the moment. And I do love eating strawberries as well. They are one of my definite best fruits out there so as i say Bree's doing a little bit of modeling here for us we have some double knit yarn i've got a little bit there that's just for sewing the seed patterns on we're going to be using a three millimeter crochet hook for this one they're quite basic techniques i think a beginner could definitely have a go at it but take your time maybe you need to watch the video first before you set off to make sure you're comfortable with the stitches and then take it from there i've got my needle stitch marker and a pen at the ready to mark off my rounds as well so we're going to have to move brie out of the way um if you've not met brie before she is one of the danny chu strength dolls she's my first semi-real doll and i think she is just stunning just stunning i love my anime ones as well and i didn't think i'd want a semi-real um but i have and i think she's gorgeous so she's going to sort of keep out of the way i think will she distract too much can i leave her there yeah maybe i can leave her there just gotta be careful not to knock her legs so we're going to start with the main body so let's move all this out of the way I will need the stitch marker in a minute, so I'll pop there. Stitch marker I'm using today is, it's a little character I designed a few years ago called Bill. Um, I've done some crochet items of him and um, I just, I'd had him digitally created then after that. But this is Bill. Hi, Bill. So, double knit yarn. Remember, I'm working in UK terms as well, because I know that will obviously make a difference for some people. So check out your conversions out there. So here we are. We're going to... I think I'm going to have to move her on to her because she's going to catch. So let me just move her out of the way a minute. Perhaps we can look at her upside down in a hat. Oh, it looks a bit weird, but <laughs> at least I'm not going to catch her because she's going to end up on the floor otherwise. So slip knot time. It is done in an amigurumi-esque style as much as I am going to be using half trebles, but you can still amigurumi with a half treble. You can't really do it with a treble, but a half treble, it's quite easy to do it with. So here we go, onto the hook, not too tight, and two chain. One, two. Into this first chain, we're going to do six double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six. Just tighten that up. It always loosens off, so don't worry if that sort of looks like there's a big hole there. It's not. It just wants tightening up. We're now going to do two double crochets into each of those six. Count from the back if you're not sure. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's here, six. Make sure we're picking both parts of the stitch up and two in each. So that's two double crochets in our first one. Two in our second one. Two in number three. Two in number four. Number five. And number six. We now have... 12 double crochets there so we're going to be increasing again but we're actually now going to move on to our half trebles straight away so you are going to need your stitch marker because as much as I don't know, that's my hair or the doll's hair I think that was the doll's I've just brushed it they're pretty good for the hair uh, not losing hair but every now and again of course you're going to get something so I'm going to pop my stitch marker in but I do need to keep moving it up as well, don't forget. So we're moving on to half trebles. So we're not slip stitch joining, we're not doing two chain, we're just going to carry on with the half trebles. And it's going to be two half trebles in each to give us 24 stitches. So yarn round, just a quick reminder, into the stitch, pull it through. We have three on the hook. Grab that yarn and pull it through all three. That's why it's a half treble. If you've been doing a lot of trebles recently, you'll find you keep slipping into treble. So try and think about what you're doing. So yarn round back in the same stitch, because remember it's two in each, pull it through. We have three, 
all three so that's our first increase okay so that was number one i am going to count them because this is still a low number to count so that was our first one with two half trebles in this is our second one with two half trebles if you can't pull them straight through you see how mine caught them let me do that one again to show you you can wrap round into the space pull it through if you want you can go a two and a one it doesn't really matter as long as you pull in that one thread through all three stitches so that was our second one with two let me double check yes yeah, two so our third one with two half trebles yep our fourth one with two half trebles the more you do them the easier they do get number five number six Number seven, number eight, number nine, couple more to go, number ten, that's two in each remember, number eleven, And our last one, number 12. So we should now have 24 stitches. And we are on our third round at that point. I'm just going to write a couple in. Because I always remember to forget to tell you how, what round you're on. It doesn't really matter. But it just gives you an idea, I suppose, as you go. On the written patterns I do, that will all be written down there. Because I will get this pattern on. So if you are wanting a written version, it will be on my website. For you to purchase so hopefully pop along you might find some others as well because obviously i do have quite a few uh, smart doll hats and don't forget these hats don't just fit smart dolls these will fit the polyps not sure about blithes that's something i'm working on at the moment and hopefully we'll have a little model for that soon as well so i'll be able to sort that out so i'm just double checking my stitch marker for, for positioning i'm going to move it up because that was the first round of just half trebles so it's exactly below we're going to be doing some more increasing next but it's not in every single one you're going to be doing two in the first one and then a one and a one and you're going to do that eight times to give us 32 stitches okay so eight times we're going so the first one it's two in the first stitch remember and then one half treble in each of the second next two second i was going to say then second and third isn't it so that's one set and we need eight sets so we have a two in one which is your increase we have a one and a one that's our second set we have a two in one a one and a one so that's our three number four two in one one in two number five. Oh, i've split my yarn always take it out if you split your yarn because you don't want it looking messy with a piece of split yarn so just take it out it's only a stitch right that was number five wasn't it yes number six two in one one in each of the next two that's number six so we have two more sets to go so we have two in one, one in the next two, one and two. Last set, we're going to have a two in one. Oh, I'm going to do this yarn a bit, it's tangling around my hands. And two in the next one. Now, let's have a look here. There seems to be a bit of a gap. So that means I've counted wrong because I should end up somewhere over here. If this happens, the best thing to do is take your hook out and get some counting done. You can see the top. Red's a nightmare colour, I know, for you to see. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 30 31 now that doesn't seem right does it i think we need to recount 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. Now I need 32, don't I? So that I, it indicated to me, that's why the stitch marker was there, that I was lacking another increase. I must have miscounted. I think I lost count somewhere along there. But you should have had eight sets. So this should be number eight. I leave my mistakes in because I don't want people thinking, oh, look, she can just do it. I can't. I make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, and especially when I'm re doing a new design, it takes a while. It's not a case of just, oh, there you go. It takes a bit of effort. And we all make mistakes, no matter how far on we've been practicing. And I think we're always learning something new as well. So don't be worried about mistakes. Just unpick it, undo it and start again if you have to. I'm going to move this stitch marker up a bit because it's just done me a big favour there. It told me I'd counted wrong. So you should have had eight sets of two double crochets in one, one double crochet in the next two and that was for round five. Round six is an easy peasy one, it's just one half treble in each one. When I get to the one half trebles in each one, I'm not going to count them. I'm going to just trust my stitch marker now because we've just counted it. So we know we've got the right stitches. Um, and uh, I can just go around stitch marker to stitch marker, really. But I will speed up a little bit at these points because they're only just one stitch in each one. So you can just pause me and perhaps pop around, do your stitches and then join me back when I've got round. I have to remember there's people at all levels doing this. Um, some people will be a lot faster than me. Uh, some people, if they're beginners, will be a lot slower than me. So that's why I do suggest you watch the video first to make sure you're happy with the stitches and then you carry on from there. And don't forget, I do have a few basic stitch tutorials there so you could have a look on how to do amigurumi, for example. Almost round. I'm hoping it's not going to rain. It looks very ominous out there because I would love to do... Let's see that split. split. Uh, I can't speak. That stitch is split. Now, the reason I am getting some split is because a three millimetre hook is really a little bit small for a double knit yarn, but it keeps it really tight. That is why I wanted it. So it is worth doing it. It sometimes is a pain depending on your yarn because some yarns will split more than others. But anyway, what I was saying is I'll, I do get distracted, don't I? Um... I don't want it to rain because I would like to take some photos outside because I think the strawberries will look really good up against sort of the green outside. It is better if I can take photos outside, but weather's not always permitting. Right, another one, I think, and we are round. Another two, in fact. Oh, that is not a half treble. Half treble, half treble. Right, so I'm back round to my stitch marker now and we need another increase round. This is going to take us up to 40 stitches and that is going to be the max that you're going to be having. So it's not really that much. It's going to be very similar to before. You're going to have two in this first one and then one, one and one. And again, times eight. And this time I'm going to just trust my stitch marker. I think it, I trust that more than I do my counting. Here we go. So we have two half trebles in the first one. One half treble in each of the next three. So one, two and three. So that is our first one. Two in the next one. One in the next three. Two in the next one. Do that yarn a bit. And one in the next three. Oh, it's split then as well. One. Two. Three. I don't know about you, but I have issues with red yarn. I do find it slightly thicker even if it's the same brand I don't know whether it's to do with the dyeing or something like that of the coloration but I do find it it's always well I mean I've got green here 
and I've got the red but the red feels that tiny bit rougher and these are both the same brand and I found it with other brands of yarn as well I don't know what that's about but um, I just I love the colour I don't like working with it right we are in a two aren't we good job I'm trusting my stitch marker because I would have completely lost count there and then one in the next three one two three make sure i did do that right can you see how it's fluffed that's just what's in the yarn so you can't do anything about that i'm just checking what i did there if you are unsure about your counting look for where you did two in one which is there and then we would have had one two and three and then there's a two in one there a one a two and a three a two in one there and a one two and three so i know i'm okay sometimes you have to sort of stretch the yarn a little bit to see where you've gone with the stitches but usually you can pick it out right two in one one in the next three that's going to annoy me that i mean if it does that it's not the actual stitch that's doing it it's just the yarns fluffed a bit you can just take it off like that yeah we've got away with that right back to two in one you probably pass me and you're probably at the other end waiting for me and saying hurry up so a two in one one in the next three or not there we go one two three Two in the next one. And one in the next three. One, two, and three. Two in the next one. And then one, two and three and we are there it's time to move that stitch marker up because with us working in a spiral as you know its positioning will actually change so that was our round seven and that is it with no more increases you'll be glad to know and um, we're going to just be working on half treble rounds and we have six of them so that's eight nine ten 11 12 and round 13 all going to be the same when you get past that all then we've got is the edge so look how quick that was let's let's undo this a bit because it's annoying because it keeps catching right off we go six rounds i've got my pen and paper at the ready off we go just one half treble in each stitch so again i'm just trusting that stitch mark i'm not counting if they sleeve, you've got a nice sort of quiet area where you crochet in. Sometimes it's worth having a quick count every now and again, just to 100% make sure that you haven't lost any stitches. Because it does happen. It happens to the best of us. Or you've increased somehow and you don't know how you've done it. So we're just going to keep going round until we get back to the beginning and we'll mark it off as our one stitch. It's definitely a bit sort of got fluff to it more than the others. I swear it's something to do with the colours. I might be imagining it. You may have seen that Brie also has a crochet frilly next top, top there and it's sort of not sitting right like that because she's upside down um and i know people have asked me if i will do the pattern for that it will not be a youtube pattern it will be a written pattern because it is worked in a lace weight yarn and there's a huge amount of stitches in that frill we're talking hundreds of stitches so i think it needs to be something that's going to be in a written up form i have it in a rough form already done um, and it is also one of those patterns where it is easier to take the doll's arms out and not everybody wants to do that. I try and make my patterns so you don't have to take the heads off because I don't like taking the heads off if I can help it. So you would 
Uh, I mean, you could wiggle it and perhaps get it on with the arms, but uh, it's easier to put on without the arms, that's all. Right, we are round for number one. So I'm going to mark it down. Try and be organised. I've actually remember. I have actually remembered everything today, haven't I? I've not hit anything that I forgot yet. So I've actually remembered to put everything on my table. This is a miracle. Off we go again. Around number two of just one half treble in each half treble. I'm amazed I've remembered everything. I'm a little bit tired today. In one respect, I wasn't going to do the video, but I had already put on my social media that I was going to do it. So I thought, no, yes, get it done. Get it out of the way and get it sorted. It's just that I had a very late night because, unfortunately, I mean, my mum's okay before anyone says, is she all right? She is okay, but she did have to go to A&E last night because um, um, she wasn't very well. She was getting pains. But um, there's a few things she's got to sort out. But otherwise, she, she's well. She's okay. But I didn't pick her up until half past one last night. So then by the time I got home, and uh, then obviously I couldn't sleep. So I'm, I'm lacking sleep. So I might be a bit delirious. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll just probably crash about four o'clock this afternoon. I'll probably need uh, to go to sleep. Which is the worst time to go to sleep. Because then you don't go to bed later. Which is very frustrating. But no. We're going to get our hat done aren't we Brie? We're going to show everyone how to make this uh, very cute little strawberry hat for their dollies. Almost round for our number two. Oh, there we go. I was tempted to make it sort of like a little very sort of, you know, like this, sort of small. But the only thing is it's attaching them to their heads. I know uh, I've seen quite a few other dolls where they just have this hat perched on the top, which is okay if you're doing a photograph, but it's not very practical if you're carrying them around and things. I suppose you'd have to have like a little hair clip or something like that. So I'm looking at doing a few more designs. I keep saying I'm going to get all the hats out. Let me just mark that off first. That's number two. There's only four more rounds to go. You see, it's curling. Just push it. Just push it down. It's fine. But yeah, um, I keep saying I have to get all my hats out. And I'll do, do a video on all my crochet hats because they are building up. They seem to be getting an awful lot. I may pop put a couple of these on my sites it's weird at the minute i've got two sites i have my website and i've also got an etsy the reason being is my website if i wanted to offer something with free postage for example i can't seem to work it out how to do it not without sort of making these strange categories so i have a flat rate on there um, so up to sort of uh, quite a large sort of well, not a large parcel, a good size parcel, you get it at a flat rate. I mean, it's still not expensive, but I can't sort of change it. Whereas for some of my tinier doll things, not necessarily the smart doll, but say if it was a Pippa doll hat, for example, I couldn't possibly put that postage on it when I know it will cost less to post. So I don't think it's fair for people to overcharge on postage. So I made the smart doll necklaces, which you may have seen. I don't know whether you have seen. I'm just trying to think where they are. I might show you them when I get to the end of these six rounds. Um, I had to put them on my Etsy because I wanted to offer free UK post. Because um, obviously it's, it does cost me more to send abroad, whether I like it or not. It's just how the postal service works. But in the UK, it is quite cheap to do for something of that size. So I wanted to offer free UK posts and I couldn't do it on my website. So I decided to reset my Etsy up and have a few things on there. There are the patterns on there to download as well. Um, if I pop a pattern on the website from now on, it's, there's less than on the website. Because I would prefer people to use the website to build the business up All right that's another one um but i have sort of put a couple of cindy things on and things like that because i find different people go to different sites 
a little bit confusing and twice the work but so uh, it's there i mean i use etsy i buy things from etsy all the time um so yeah it is it is a nice sort of area to do it but you just have to watch the charges as a seller but you have to watch the charges for anything they're not as bad as uh, some of them out there so we are on round four already you see you may have already done your six if you have i'll be there soon if you haven't if you're only on like round one or round two if you don't want to listen to me just pause it um do your six rounds and come back to me when we come to do this little sort of frilly bit at the end i love frilly borders i love doing them you can see the hat forming now so we've got a nice shape there round for this one and this is round four so then in two more rounds after this it's quite a quick little hat to produce i think what takes the longest is doing things like sewing it up sewing the top on um sewing the seeds on um i will explain what i've done with the seeds when i get to it uh, the method i've used for this particular one that brie is working is not the method i would use as such if i was selling the item to somebody but i will talk about that when i get to it right so that is our fourth round so mark it down We've got two more rounds to go but as you say you can already see we have a proper little hat form in there if you do make this little hat please tag me on my instagram most people seem to be tagging me on instagram rather than anything else but obviously i do have my octopudding facebook page as well and i know some of you that are out there are on my uh, regular facebook as well but if you do make something give us a show it's lovely to see that somebody's made something that i've designed um it's, I don't know, it's just really pleasing to see that somebody's done it and it's great to see it on everybody else's dolls, on how it works. Oh, that's talking too much. There we go. Um, and also nice to see other yarns. That's something I've noticed. Sometimes I've seen other people use a different yarn. I know this is going to be red and green. But if it's been a top, for example, they've used different yarns. And there's some absolutely stunning designs. Also, some of you have sort of slightly taken the pattern and then maybe added something to it or changed it a little bit. And they look amazing. So, yeah, please, please tag me. Um, I've always put my, well, I've started to put my Instagram links and everything in the description. I wasn't doing it at one point, so there's a few videos without it. But I do need to catch up and make sure they're all on there. Now, I do have two Instagrams. I have the one for my smart doll. And I also have one that does all my dolls, basically. So I know, like myself, a lot of you do collect more than one type of doll. But this smart doll group does seem quite a specific group as well. But please uh, come and follow me on both. Um, I try and follow people back if it's something they do as well. I know not everybody has a uh, an account where they put pictures on. But if you do, I will uh, have a look and uh, hopefully follow you back. We have to support each other, haven't we? Right, we're almost round for number five. Two more stitches. Ta -da! That's number five. We have just one more round and we definitely have a hat now. We have the crown of a hat. Off we go. Should have really moved my stitch marker up but uh, it's not that many rows i would recommend on average you're moving your stitch marker up about every three rows the more you do the less you have to move it up but if you sort of quite early to or new to crochet i would recommend you move it up on a very frequent basis because it does slightly distort your shape if you sort of just trust on it from there 
It's only because of the spiral sort of system it does, does it? But when you've been doing it a while, you can sort of, sort of, a bit of guesswork, I suppose, or it's just sort of a feeling that you know that you're in the right place. countdown I can see the stitch marker we can take the stitch marker out after this anyway because it's really not needed for this last round more stitches one and two now the next one I'm going to do is a slip stitch because I just want it a little bit flatter ready to start this little sort of shell scallop or whatever you want to call it and we don't need that little guy now now as far as a scallop is concerned they are quite easy to do I'm going to be missing my first stitch so not the one I've gone in because that was like the last stitch miss this one and into this one I'm going to do five trebles, okay? So we move back onto trebles now. That's one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna miss a stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet in the next one. Yep, so you can see how you get your little shell formed. We miss one in the next one, it's another shell. So that means five trebles. One, two, three, oh, dropped in. Four and five. I think you're going to guess what I'm going to say. We miss one and then we do a double crochet in the next one. So I think you can probably see the pattern forming. We miss one, we do five. One, two, three, four, and five. We miss one, we do a double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that again. We miss one, we do five. One, two, three, four, and five, and we miss one, and we do a double crochet in the next one. We miss one, and we do five. So between each combination, really, you're missing a stitch. So you will do your five trebles, you miss one. You do your double crochet, you miss one. And then we start again. That's all you're going to do all the way around. So that was four. No, I want one more. Five. I miss one. I do a double crochet. I miss one. I do five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nearly there. Miss one. Do a double crochet. Miss one, do five. So your five is your shell. I know shell, scallop, whatever you want to call it. One, two, three, four, and five. Miss one, and double crochet. And that one split. So take it out again. Take it out, Zara. Take it out. And off we go. Miss one and five. One, two, three, four and five. Miss one and DC. Only a few more to do. Miss one and five. One, two, three, 
two, three, four and five. Miss one stitch and double crochet and we should be fitting in one more shell in here. One, one, miss one, in we go. Now, if you have the 40 stitches, this will fit exact. If not, we can usually sort of squeeze it in, so don't over worry about it. So that's four and five. So I would miss one and then my DC into that, which makes me perfectly round. So I'm quite pleased with that. It worked. There have been times I've done it and perhaps I've, I don't know, I've had 39 stitches or 41, perhaps, for example. And you get round, you go, oh, but you can usually get away with it with crochet. Just be careful with how you sort of manipulate those last couple of stitches. So we need to fasten this off. So we have our basic hat. Now you could just have that as a cute little beanie, put a flower on it or something like that. So it's a nice versatile version of what to do. So we'll move the red and we're going to pull in our green. Hopefully the green will show a little bit better because I say red is an awful colour to photograph and an awful colour to film. Amazing colour, but awful. Now the stalk is a little bit fiddly for this first bit. These bits are easy, but this is a little fiddly because it's tight and it's sort of um, chances of missing stitches and things like that. So we'll try and take it a little bit slower. It's going to be again amigurumi though. So slip knot onto the hook, two chain, one and two. And we're going to do six double crochets into that first one. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit tight and it can get a little bit annoying and if you're not careful you do lose stitches. We're going to do one double crochet in each of those six. So if you're not sure where your six is, count from the back. One, two, three, four, five and six. Check, you've definitely got both parts. It will make a difference because it can make the start messy if you don't. You're going to pull it through. That's our first one, so one into the next one. Take your time with this one. Two, three, four. You can see how it's curling into itself. Five and one more. It just sort of curls itself into a little ball. So at this point, I take my hook out, tighten that up and I push it to the right side because otherwise it's so hard to get into the stitches. So push it to the right side out and you can see the stitches a little bit better. They're still a little bit tricky, but you can see them better. So we need another one in each of the next six. Can you see it's difficult to see? So you don't have to trust me on this one that you want six stitches. One, two, three. I sort of keep my finger inside it four, five and six and you're going to do a couple more rounds of it like this. I know it's a bit of a pain if you get fed up with that bit just leave it there. That, that Don't fasten it off though because we don't need to fasten it off for the other bit. So another six, one, two, three. Let's see, can you see I'm popping my finger in there to help me. Four, five, six, one more round because I did four for mine. One, two, three, four, five and six. So that gave me four rounds of just one double crochet into each. Like I say, it's tight to start with, but then you get into the routine of it, so it's not too bad. So we don't fasten off because these here, these little sort of, I don't know what you call them, they're not leaves, are they? They're just a bit that's on top of the strawberry, are going to be integrated into it. So we're going to carry it on. So I'm going to do a slip stitch in the next one. Okay, so that's our first stitch. We're going to do eight chain one two, three, four, five, six, seven 
and eight okay now we're going to work back down this chain and the combination is one double crochet into our first one one treble into our next one Oh, that's not a treble, that was a half treble, it should have been. Um, then we're going to do one treble in the next three. So one, two and three are going to be all trebles. That's one, two and three. Next one is a half treble, it gives a bit fiddly to hold, I know. So it's all three, remember if it's half treble. And the next one's a double crochet and that's the first of these finished and now what we're going to do next is into this stalk from there hopefully you can see this that's where we've just come out of with our chain this is our next stitch so you're going to do a slip stitch into that next stitch and you're going to do eight chain again one two three four five six seven and eight and you're going to follow the same pattern as we did before so we have one double crochet in the first stitch along the chain one half treble in the second one and then we have three trebles side by side one in each chain not three in each chain one in each chain two and three you see it's holding it so I know a bit of a pain and we do a what did I do there three half treble next it could be the same in every single one and a DC in our last one and what we're going to do is find the next stitch along which is there and I'm going to do a slip stitch in it so can you see how it's holding it in place we're going to continue that round hopefully you will get six stitches if you get seven so I nearly got seven on this and I'm not quite sure why because there are six stitches there and it should only be six. There are eight chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. DC in the first one, half treble in the second one and then we want a treble in number three, a treble in number four, a treble in number five, we have a half treble and then we have a double crochet and then we look for our next stitch along and it's a slip stitch so we have three now carry on one two three four five six seven eight We have a double crochet, half treble, treble, treble and treble, half treble and a double crochet. slip stitch into our next stitch so how many have we got now we've got four uh, I might be working this time I must have done an extra stitch in that one I don't know why I nearly ended up with seven um, I don't really know whether strawberries have an exact number I know a lot of plants do work on sort of quite a bit of symmetry um, I'm not 100% sure we'd have to have a look at that you have to let me know if you've had a strawberry recently how many little spikes or on that stalk bit I really don't know here we go so eight one two three four five six seven and eight we have a double crochet we have a half treble and we have treble treble oh you'll be able to hear that it's an ambulance going past Treble, my dog's grumbling because she doesn't like that. I think it's the sound of the siren must upset their ears because she always has a grumble. I can hear her, she's, uh, well, she's not far from me, I can hear her grumbling. Right, and in our last one, we're going to do that slip stitch. Eight chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So a DC. We have treble, treble, 
treble treble the only thing is they all get in the way now treble half treble double crochet and just slip stitch back in to where you started it doesn't really matter where just slip stitch back in so i can fasten that off now oh i should have left a longer end there i will tell you now leave a long end because i'm now going to have to add yarn in to stitch it onto the hat because i don't think there's enough there so always leave a long end if you're planning on stitching something onto something else because then you don't have to mess about with different bits so basically we sort of have this strange sort of spidery looking thing here which is going to be stitched on top of the hat now i will comment now some people won't notice this but this has sort of annoyed me in some respects when i'd done it i should have thought about it properly i decided it would be quite cute to have this to one side which i think it is but if i was being really strict if that was there the pips would then go in that direction wouldn't they because it'd be like a sideways strawberry um so it's up to you you can pop it on the top so it's exactly on the top of the hat and then obviously the stitches will go in that direction i don't think it really matters i know i commented to my son about it and he says well he wouldn't have known and he's sort of quite fussy about things like that because it would be very hard to sow the, sow these little seeds on in the opposite direction but i do think it looks quite cute having it on the side rather than on the top which most sort of strawberry hats you see do have so you can pop it wherever you wish obviously so we need to sew some ends in and then decide where this is going so i think i will sew them on the side it gives it a slightly different sort of effect so hopefully you've left some nice long ends here to stitch it into place i'm not going to stitch it into place with you but i will i'm going to just pinch this one off free there and explain i stitched a down a little way because i didn't it sort of really curls up as you can see if you just sort of stitch that middle bit on it'll really curl up and i found that a little bit annoying so i just sort of slightly stitched down just using the uh, thread that i had there uh, perhaps i should show you really right i'm going to get rid of this one first make sure it's really tight and i'm actually going to push that thread inside there and it gives it a little bit so let's use this scissors to push it in gives that stalk a little bit more of a weight yeah so it's like slightly stuffed then so it's better I know I am going to have to add a bit on, but just to get you started, I can show you. Let me find a nice needle here. And again, sew the ends in of your hat before you do this as well, all these little bits. But as I say, I just wanted to sort of show you what I did. So I decided, yeah, slightly to one side, it looks cute. So hopefully you can see I'm picking a little bit of the red up here and then I'm into the green. Then I slightly flattened this out because I wanted to sort of go down this edge a bit, okay? And then I just went across to the other side. I so really need a much longer piece of yarn to make this easier. And then back up. Now I try and sort of stitch it through so it's like halfway through the stitches so when i turn this over so look i've gone about quite low yeah little stitch down take it across i mean if you want it really curly leave it really curly and i'm going to take it up and then i just sort of thread it through and hold in so you can see it sort of holds it better in place so again you know how you like to do your uh, sewing so you can do it however you wish for that now when i said about threading through if i thread this needle through it's sort of like sort of going through the top bit now if i turn that over you can't see where the needle is and that is what i've done with these so you can sort of see a little bit where the green is but you see less if you try and thread through between the stitches when you're sewing up now if i was then going to sell this i would do these little dots like that so you would never see on the back apart from where i started 
all the little yellow dots now for this one because i was sort of rushing a little bit as well and it's for my doll this so it doesn't really matter you can see where i have stitched that is fine if that's what you want to do i try and avoid as much as i can like i say if i'm selling an object if it's something i'm just making for myself because it looks quite even it's not going to catch and it was just a case of getting some of this yellow yarn here and stitching lots and lots i started at the center and then i went in between each one and then tried to go in between each one and i went over let me get a different needle I went over sort of one half treble that is what my stitches are i have when i've done smaller ones i have sewn little tiny beads on now that takes a long time and i think the beads for the smart doll would have to be a little bit bigger and it would make it a little heavy so i thought this created a nicer effect but if i was doing something for a little tiny doll i might actually sew beads on that's entirely up to you how you do that and whether you have the beads when i'm doing the videos i have to think that people don't always have the extra little bits you might be somebody who has a lot of yarn but you might not be somebody who has beads or lots of sewing extras so i try and keep it to mainly yarn whenever we're doing this so this is quite a time consuming bit actually sewing on these pips I actually undid mine first few times because I did them wrong. So take your time, make sure you sort of, no, they don't have to be exact. It's not going to be exact on a piece of fruit, is it? But I do like, I do think you sort of, you do your first one and then the next one goes in between. Next one goes in between. And then from there on doing the same thing to that. So that's all I'm going to do for you, with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to finish this little strawberry one and I'm going to pop it on one of my other girls and we're going to hopefully, there's definitely no rain, there's black clouds, I'm going to get some photographs done outside so you can have a nice photo on the thumbnail. So thank you once again for watching. If you do enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. It helps us YouTubers out if people do subscribe. And I want to say thank you very much for watching and I will see you all very very soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.